Hey guys, Tokyo Treats here with another easy DIY project for your LPS pet. Note that I didn't say super easy. This is a little bit more complicated than a lot of the other DIYs that I do, uh, but it's still fairly easy uh, and a ton of fun. The first thing you're going to need is some sort of box that you can cut into. I have here a Kleenex box. I'm using the rectangular shape. You'll also need some sort of plastic container. Uh, I just love this container. Um, I actually got this when I purchased some mushrooms that came in this container. If you don't have a container like this, you could still use um, a plastic container. Uh, often the packaging that toys come in, you could use the, that, that plastic, or you could use a sour cream or a cottage cheese container. The great thing about using a plastic container is that you can actually put water in your hot tub if you so choose. I won't be putting water in mine, so what I'll be using instead is bubble wrap to lay inside my hot tub and uh, blue rocks, super pretty rocks. You can get these at Dollar Tree and they're just perfect for a hot tub. You'll also want scrapbooking paper for your deck, some cardboard to form your stairs. I'm using cardboard from a Capri Sun box. It's thinner than regular cardboard uh, and so it's just ideal for the hot tub stairs. You'll also want a pencil, a ruler, some super glue if you have it. If not, that's okay. Um, you can use regular glue and uh, a glue stick. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is create a hole in your box big enough for your tub to fit. Like so. Now my tub has an edge which clings perfectly to the sides of my Kleenex container. Obviously if you're using a cottage cheese container or something circular then when you're cutting your hole you'll need to cut a circle. I can't give you precise measurements as to how to cut your box because your container might be different in size from mine. Um, basically I just started cutting uh, piece by piece and trying to fit my container in as I went so that I didn't make too big of a hole. Once you have your hole, you can begin wrapping your box with your paper of choice. Once you've wrapped your box, the next thing you're going to want to do is create your stairs. So to do that, you'll want to cut out three pieces of cardboard. Again, I use the Capri Sun box. They should be fairly equal in width, so you'll want to use a, a ruler as you cut these pieces out, and they should be staggered in height because the long piece is going to be your bottom stair, your middle stair, and your top stair, and you're going to fold each one on top of the other. So the bottom one needs to be the longest. So each one is maybe an inch shorter than the next. Once you cut out your pieces, you'll want to measure a distance equal along the bottom so that when you fold them all over, they each have the same size stair. And now fold on your line. And your stairs will look something like this. Once you've folded them, now you want to wrap them in scrapbook paper as well. Okay. So once you've completely wrapped your stairs, you can fold them back to your original folds and we will glue attach them to our hot tub. So once you've refolded each one of your steps and your original seams that you made before you wrapped it in your scrapbook paper, now you'll want to attach each stair to the side of your hot tub. So to do that, lift your box and then you'll want to glue each step to your hot tub. Now I'm going to use super glue because it dries incredibly fast. Okay, and my stairs are attached. Now they're not completely flat. Gluing them to the back has raised them just a little bit. So I'll place one of my pits or maybe something a little bit heavier just to weigh it down. Just for a while. Okay, so now that your deck is ready, we're ready to add the hot tub. If you have a plastic container, you can just add water 
and place it inside. And note that doing so will actually keep it from raising. And if it doesn't, you can always glue down the edges of your hot tub onto your Kleenex box to keep it from rising. But the, the weight of the water should actually keep it down. Oh, and do keep in mind also, if you do fill it with water, because you've used paper here, you're gonna have to be very careful not to splash any water and ruin your deck for your hot tub. So instead of water, I'm gonna use some bubble wrap and some colored stones to create my bubbles and my jacuzzi water. So I've just laid out some bubble wrap and now I've added my blue stones. Okay, and our hot tub is almost complete. We just wanna add a couple of fun accessories. Just a couple of fun accessories that you can also make. Fun little picnic basket, just in case they get hungry. Beach bag and towels. And it's not a party without a camera. Although we don't wanna get that wet. And for the sun sensitive, a visor. And finally, just a couple of fun water bottles. And there you have a fairly easy hot tub. Well guys, thanks so much for watching. I sure enjoyed making this video. I really hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, don't forget to subscribe, check Rainbow Tinkle out on Facebook, and be sure to tune in for my next easy DIY project for your LPS pet. Also, if you have any suggestions for craft ideas or uh, how to improve the hot tub or the hot tub environment, maybe with some palm trees or something fun like that, uh, be sure to let me know in the comment section. Thanks so much guys. Have a great day. Bye.